This is a boat ramp, and this is someone launching their boat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your boat like a boss. As a boat owner, you need a pre-launch checklist just to make sure everything goes smoothly. It could even be written down. Before you actually get to the launch ramp, make sure that your boat is ready to go. Don't be that guy that's putting all of his gear in his boat while waiting on the launch ramp. That takes valuable boating time from all of us. Please don't be that guy. Whatever it is that you need to get in the boat, use the parking lot to get that stuff in the boat. Hand up the boards, get them in the board racks, get the coolers in the boat, whatever you need, do it in the parking lot. You need to make sure your plug's in. Remove your transom straps, turn on the battery. Once the battery's on, turn on your blower. The blower helps to expel any gasoline fumes that might be in the engine bay. Now you're ready to back the boat down the ramp. Your bow strap should still be attached. Let's be honest, there's a bunch of pressure to perform when backing the boat down the ramp. You wanna back the trailer in deep enough to allow the boat to start floating. Make sure you put the vehicle in park and engage the emergency brake. It would be best to have somebody man the vehicle and another person operate the boat. There have been instances where failures occur and the vehicles actually end up in the water. This is why my kids are in the boat when I back down the ramp. However, it is possible that you can do this all by yourself. Now, unattach the bow hook. Turn off the blower and start the boat. Before getting the boat off the trailer, you should do a quick check to make sure you don't have any water running into the boat. It's not something that has to be done every time, but for that peace of mind, it's really a quick check. If everything checks out, you can begin driving the boat off the trailer. If you just hit reverse hard, the boat's going to pull to the side. For 90% of wake boats, it pulls to the right side. You're going to get the boat to move off the trailer, then you'll turn the wheel to the right and hit forward for a brief second to allow the back of the boat to swing to the left, then reverse again. When the boat starts altering off course, do another correction spin by turning to the right and hitting forward briefly. The key here is you don't want the bow to actually move forward. All you want to do is have the back end swing to the left. Do as many correction turns as needed to get away from the boat ramp safely. Once you have enough space, just spin a 180 and be on your way. Pull the trailer out slowly and park in a designated boat trailer parking spot. Now that you know how to get your boat off the trailer, you must be thinking, how do I pick somebody up from the dock? Well, I'll teach you. This is me driving a wake boat around the dock. I'm gonna walk you through three different scenarios on how to control your boat around the dock. In all these scenarios, I'll have multiple camera angles and I'll talk you through all the things you need to do so you can control your boat around the dock. All you gotta do is use your steering wheel and your throttle. I wanna make it so you can dock like a boss. Scenario number one, the nose picker. This is where you bring in the nose of the boat to pick somebody up off the dock. Typically, it's the person that went and parked the trailer. Here's my plan for this approach. I'm gonna put the nose in right here. I'll hit reverse and the nose will pull away from the dock and I'll be on my way. Notice that I'm in neutral way more than I'm in gear. Neutral is your safe space. Also note, you can only steer the boat when you're in gear. While the boat's in gear, you turn the steering wheel to the left to initiate the turn. Make some correction turns to make sure that the nose of the boat is going towards the dock. Hard reverse. Reverse. Neutral. Reverse. Neutral. I didn't realize she wanted the boat a little closer. I should have done a better job reading her mind. Yep. Forward. Neutral. Reverse. Neutral. Reverse. Oh. You okay? Neutral. Turn the steering wheel to the left and now forward and you're on your way to go have some fun. Scenario number two, rear entry, or as Dieter says, the butt butt. But, 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 but. This is used when you have the bow full, but you still need to pick somebody up from the dock. You can slide the back end of the boat to the dock and they can step onto the platform. My plan for this one is to swing the back end of the boat to this point in the dock. Pick up my guest and be on our way. Initiate your spin a couple boat lengths away from the dock. You're gonna to wanna to turn left on this one because most boats will suck the back end to the right and you wanna use the boat's natural turning movement to help with the spin. Crank it hard to the left, hit forward to initiate the spin. Neutral, hard reverse to really get the boat to spin. Neutral, forward. Neutral, reverse. Neutral, forward. Neutral, reverse. Neutral, forward. Neutral, reverse. Neutral, forward. Neutral, reverse. Slow reverse 
back towards the dock, neutral, forward, turn to the right, forward, neutral, reverse, neutral, forward, neutral. And now forward, not too hard, so that the passenger doesn't fall when they're getting onto the boat. And you're on your way to go have some fun. Third, the side shimmy. This is when you're actually going to tie up to the dock. My plan is to pull up into this spot right here. There's only cleats on the outside of this dock. If you dock your boat here, you end up blocking an entire lane for people launching their boats. With this boat here, the only spot for me to dock is right here. I will come forward to the dock at about a 45, then stop my forward momentum and suck the back end into the dock. For this maneuver, make sure that you have your fenders out. You want them to be at the right height so that they will protect your boat from the dock. You will need to line up the boat going towards the dock. When you get a couple feet from the dock, turn the boat to the left, then hit reverse. You need to hit reverse hard and long enough to stop your forward momentum. Turn to the right, forward, neutral, reverse. Turn to the left, neutral, forward, neutral, reverse. Neutral, forward, neutral, reverse, neutral. You should be able to reach your hand out and stop the boat from hitting the dock. Hook on your dock line and you're good to go. Now pulling away from the side shimmy. Remember, your boat pulls to the right. So if you just get into the boat and try to back it up, it'll pull in this direction. Instead, you need to push the back end out further than the nose. You might need to go forward and turn into the dock. Neutral, reverse. Neutral, forward. Neutral. Reverse. Now hit reverse and back yourself away from the dock. Once in deep enough water and enough clearance, you can just flip a 180 and you're on your way to go have some fun. This is a wake boat spinning in a circle. In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to drive your wake boat at low speeds. Number one, neutral is your friend. Number two, you can only steer when you're in gear. Number three, your boat pulls one way in reverse. Number four, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Number five, accidents will happen. Number one, neutral is your friend. When your boat's in gear, it's just uncomfortably fast, mainly because it's hard to stop that momentum created by your boat. So a better approach is to shift from gear to neutral, back to gear, then back to neutral. Just like on Hitch, this is where you live, right here, neutral. Number two, you can only steer when the boat's in gear. Playing off number one, when you do need to turn the boat at low speeds, put the boat in gear, steer to your desired direction, and then shift back to neutral. Let the boat coast for a bit, then correct the course by shifting back into gear and adjusting the steering. Pro tip, make sure not to overcorrect or you'll find yourself bobbing back and forth. If you're learning something from this video, please subscribe. Number three, your boat only pulls one way in reverse. 90% of wake boats pull to the right side, also known as the starboard side. Take this into account when you're trying to control your boat at low speeds. For instance, you can spin a circle in place by turning to the left and just using the throttle in forward and reverse. This can be useful in congested waterways. You can get your back end to shift to the right easily by putting it in forward gear while turning left. Without letting the bow move forward, you then hit reverse and you can swing the back even further. Pro tip, the same is true for swinging the back end to the left. It just takes more practice. Put the boat in forward gear while turning to the right then hit reverse. The key is to not let the bow move forward from your starting position. But see right here, you can actually get the back end of the boat to swing left. Number four, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. This is not how you wanna control your boat. You wanna be smooth. It'll take practice. Lift the safety lever slightly and move the throttle. You can feel the throttle engage. Once you're in gear, you don't need to lift the safety lever. Now slide it back into neutral. You will hear the boat click into neutral. Please do not shift from forward gear straight into reverse. It's not good on your transmission. A change of position over time is velocity. A change over velocity over time is acceleration. And change of acceleration over time is jerk. And that's what you're being to your transmission. Moral of the story, it's bad on your transmission to shift from forward gear into reverse or vice versa. Always bring it into neutral first. Number five, accidents will happen. As a boat owner, crap's just gonna happen. The upside, just learn from it. Now that you know how to control your boat at low speeds, this is somebody loading their wake boat the wrong way. And this is somebody loading it the right way. 
In this video, I'm gonna show you the proper way to load your boat on your trailer. I've always driven boats up onto the trailer. When you launch your boat, leave enough strap so you can reconnect the boat when you're ready to load it. Good preparation creates good execution. Back the trailer into the water and make sure the trailer's straight. Trailer depth is critical when loading your boat. If you put the trailer in too deep, then the boat floats too far over the trailer. And I've actually seen people trash their props by hitting it on the trailer bunks. But too shallow is also bad because then the boat struggles too much getting up on the trailer. It's almost like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It has to be just right. My rule of thumb is having about one or two inches of water covering the trailer fenders. This will work for most ramps, but you might have to adjust that based off the steepness of the ramp. As you line up your boat to go on the trailer, you want to have the boat mostly in neutral. If you keep the boat in gear the whole time, you will ram the trailer too hard. Get the boat pointed at the trailer while it's in gear, then put it in neutral, let the boat coast. Using this technique, the boat should be traveling at about one to two miles per hour. It will begin coasting off course. Correct the steering and then put the boat back into gear, then back into neutral. Make sure not to overcorrect, or you will ping pong your way onto the trailer. If your speed and trailer depth are correct, the trailer should cradle and stop the boat. Once the boat is caught by the trailer, use the throttle carefully to power the boat fully onto the trailer. Once it's fully on the trailer, clip the bow strap. Now turn off the boat and pull the boat out of the water. Inevitably, there's gonna be somebody that says, I just float my boat on. Cool, if that's what you wanna do, go for it. Check to make sure that the boat is seating properly on the trailer. If you find yourself struggling to get the boat to settle correctly on the trailer, one tip I have for you is, hang on to your guidepost as you pull the boat up out of the water. It'll allow you to center the boat as it's coming up out of the water. Wipe down your boat and properly store your gear for the drive home. Attach your transom straps and make sure you remove your plug. You don't wanna be hauling around any evasive species. If you do it right, you might even get 10 out of 10. Now that you know how to drive your boat around the dock, you're probably wondering, how do I teach somebody how to wake surf? Yeah. Naturally, I made a video just for you. Click right here, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.